What is happening guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be showing you progress to of our gigabyte and cooler master project infinity lots of custom acrylic work done since the last video that you guys saw we've got this grill going onto the top of the case it'll add a nice effect to it but firstly it's time to paint everything. So I have gotten an old box and I'm laying everything out on that, just giving it three coats of white all over. I'll then follow up with a clear so that everything is safe from scratching. I've also got some blue parts that I'm painting, three coats of them also. This is just enamel paint, that's all we need. And then I'm grabbing my Aerial Dye two-part adhesive, applying that onto the back of the acrylic, and then I'm going to be gluing that onto the actual panel. So as you can see in that panel, I've also made a cutout there so I can put a window in. This will make sure that I can see the inside of the case and it will also create a nice visual appeal with the fans shining through with the blue LEDs. Mixing the two-part adhesive, this thing dries within five minutes, so I've got to be very quick to apply it. I'm just applying small tiny dabs around the edges where the acrylic will be sitting and then I'll be holding the acrylic down nice and firm. Applying it down, this also acts like a nice border for my cutout, which I'll then stick the acrylic window onto. Now applying some more of that two-part adhesive on the blue section so I can add my white sections for that extra contrast. This also eliminates some of that blue to create a nice, clean, simplistic look. I'm also trying to bring the motherboard theme to the outside of the case, which is why I'm using a lot of this acrylic on the outside. A very simple design but something so simple can make something pop so much. The acrylic was just cut out with a jigsaw and then sanding all of the edges back to get rid of all the jigsaw blade marks. It was important for me to wet sand the edges as well just to make sure that those jigsaw blade marks were gone. So applying these side pieces now, I'm just holding that base up just so that that side piece does not slip. Gravity is your worst nightmare when it comes to gluing things on like that because the glue will seep out through the sides and your shapes will not be in place. Moving on to the other side, applying the white acrylic bits just the same as the other side. If you look closely at the blue section that I am gluing these white panels onto now, there are also some incisions in the acrylic just for a bit of extra effect. That was done with my plastic cutter just scoring down the line. Moving on to the top of the case, we don't want to cover too much of the grill. So what we've done is we've made a pretty cool design which follows the motherboard theme as well on the inside of the case, bringing it to the top of the case, still allowing for all of that air ventilation. A nice, simple, open design. So we've applied our front window to the top of the case. We're just peeling off that protective film from the window, nice and slow, and that reveals the window underneath. Just cleaning up any of those marks on the inside and the outside, any dust. There is a bit of paint that I want to get rid of, so I'll just scratch that out and get rid of that. But other than that, it is a nice, clean, fantastic look.
Moving on to our backplate for our GPU. I have started with putting some black on the back for the powered by, and then I colored it in blue on the back for the Intel logo. Peeling off the vinyl now, being nice and careful. There will be some excess paint, but that's easy to remove. You just get the tip of the knife nice and softly so you don't scratch the acrylic. Just take away that paint. Very simple and very easy. This is how it turned out, guys. A nice, simple design, but it'll really highlight the build and add a lot more to the graphics card. Now we have our PSU cover. I've applied the vinyl, and now I'm putting the black on the back side of this. Next, I'm getting my blue, and I'm also painting the back side so that it shows through the front panel when I paint it white. Three coats, guys, of white, and then I add a clear after I peel back the vinyl. The clear is just to help to protect from any scratches. So I go in with my knife just at the corner of some of the vinyl. I don't touch the paintwork at all because I don't want to scratch it. And then I just push and that will release the vinyl. This is how it turns out, guys. A nice, clean, simple design for the side of the case, which will hide the power supply, make for nice cable management. As you can see right here, the finished design. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Remember to check out more videos. We've got plenty of DIY, custom PCs, reviews, and modding tutorials, guys. And we'll see you all in the next video.